Hello guys and welcome to another vlog. Today is a different type of vlog for my channel. I am not in the Disney parks. I am in New York for the holidays. We are spending a little Christmas weekend here in New York. We actually come every year for the past six years now to enjoy the Christmas lights, the Christmas markets, the Christmas food here in New York. There are so many things to do here during the holidays and I cannot wait to take you along for all the fun. As we have just arrived today in New York, I changed into my warm clothes. We're going to head to Zucker's Bagel Shop for some New York bagels to start off our day today. And then we're going to try and hit up some hot cocoa stops and some holiday markets here in New York City. So the goal for this weekend is to do as much hot cocoa as possible. New York is absolutely flowing in hot cocoa and this is not your typical Swiss Miss hot cocoa this is actual melted chocolate in a cup it is divine and if you have never tried it you need to put it on your bucket list in addition to all of the hot cocoa here in New York during the holidays there are several holiday markets that are filled with holiday shops and sweet treats so we are definitely going to try and stop at at least one holiday market a day while we're here for the holiday weekend here in New York City. We also have a Rockheads show at Radio City Hall tonight that I am so excited to attend. This is going to be our second time attending that show and the last time was just so spectacular we decided to do it again. So let's get started and take in all of the decorations, the hot cocoa and holiday markets. Before heading towards the Christmas cheer, we stopped by Zucker's Bagel Shop to get some breakfast. I ordered the BLT and Alex got the Chipotle egg. Both were so delicious. Next up, we headed towards Westfield World Trade Center, which is a mall inside the Oculus, right next to the World Trade Center. Inside, we found a wonderful winter wonderland. There were so many fun photo opportunities in here, and I highly recommend visiting if you are there during Christmas as well. Afterwards, we walked to Grand Central to visit their indoor holiday fair. This is where we usually get our annual New York ornaments. I just adore the felt ornaments created by Craftspring. Last year, we got the Metro card ornament, and this year, we got the NYC Metro train. Then it was time to pop into one of our favorite food halls, Urban Space, where we grabbed a sweet treat at dough. These donuts are so fluffy and delicious. I highly recommend grabbing one if you are near Grand Central as well. Then it was time for Christmas market number two at Bryant Park. We grabbed some Max Brenner hot cocoa. It was so creamy and delicious. Taste test of the Max Brenner hot chocolate, Italian hot chocolate. Wow. <laughs> it's thick and creamy and it tastes Italian. <laughs> So hard. <laughs> Afterwards, we walked around Bryant Park a bit. This is honestly my favorite Christmas market during the holidays in New York. There is so much to do here, including all of the food booths, restaurants, and even ice skating. Then it was time to head to our dinner location, so we walked through Times Square and bumped into Alex's icon, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, where of course he stood and took a picture with him. We arrived to Gallagher's Steakhouse where they are known for dry aging their own meats. This makes the price point a little bit higher, but this is a very traditional and classic steakhouse in New York. The food is always so delicious and it's well worth the price and visit in my opinion. After a relaxing and filling dinner experience, we headed back for a little nap before it was time to head to Radio City Hall to watch the Rockheads Christmas Spectacular. Oh, 
And with that, we ended a very eventful and beautiful day of Christmas in New York, day one. Day two started bright and early on the metro train on the way to breakfast at Angelina's restaurant. We actually discovered this place in Paris for the first time and discovered last year that they had a location in New York. It has some of the best hot chocolate year round and the pastries are so buttery and flaky. I highly recommend visiting any time of the year. Then it was time to start our journey around New York and visit all of the holiday decorations, starting with the Peninsula Hotel. This hotel is so classically decorated for Christmas. It is definitely a must-see if you are celebrating the holidays in New York as well. As we walked to our next destination, we saw an interesting character in the streets. We then happened to enter his building to admire some of the Christmas decorations. Afterwards, we enjoyed some hot cocoa at Tiffany's. On the way to dinner, we walked through Central Park to enjoy some of the views. Then we arrived to Sugarfish, where we had sushi for lunch. This is one of our favorite sushi spots of all time. My mouth is watering just watching this. We stopped at one more holiday market at Union Square to grab an apple cider and the biggest ginger snap cookie. After a nap, it was time to head to the Rockefeller Center to get a look at the iconic Christmas tree and watch the Saks Fifth Avenue light show. We got a few pictures at some of the iconic Christmas spots, then headed to dinner at Junior's Diner and Bakehouse. Junior's is known for their classic New York cheesecakes and comfort food. This was definitely a tourist attraction, so the wait was quite long, but the food was so delicious and I would definitely go back. Good morning! It is day three of our weekend here in New York City for the holidays and it has been absolutely magical so far. Yeah, New York is back. So we've been in New York several times this year and obviously last year through the pandemic, but this is the first time where New York feels like it's back. At times, I've been calling it Disney 2.0 because it is that crowded. But in the end, even though the crowds are annoying, it does feel good to see the city back alive after kind of the pandemic and everything. So that's been uh, pretty cool. Also, I don't know if you know this, I haven't told you. So I've been working out every morning. There's a lifetime here around uh, our hotel and I've been working out three stories underground. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. But today they told me, or they actually asked me if I was partaking in today's event. Oh, what's the event? And I was like, what's today's event? Today is SantaCon. Oh, I mean, we've seen yeah. it. We've actually been here during SantaCon. And I remember the first time we actually saw it, we were very confused because there was a lot of Santas walking around. And we thought it was like some kind of Santa convention. But it's actually when a bunch of New Yorkers, just locals, dress up as Santa. And sometimes visitors come yeah. just for SantaCon. Everybody dresses up in Santa costumes and just like walks around. You know, I think there's you know, like, hopping. yeah, there's bars, themed bars that they go to and bar hop. It's really cool. We did not bring our Santa outfits, so we will not be participating in SantaCon, but it will be fun to watch. But we always come during this weekend and we always do see it. So yeah. when she told me about that, I was like, hey, that's cool that it's back and we'll get to see it in the streets today. But anyways, what are we doing today, babe? Well, we're doing a lot of, I think, relaxing. The last mm -hmm. two days have been a lot of tourist attraction stuff. We've been looking at all of the holiday markets, trying to do as many hot cocoa stops as possible, and of course, enjoying all of the Christmas decorations. Last night we went to Rockefeller to look at the Christmas tree and get some pictures in front of the Christmas tree, and that's when we realized that New York was definitely 100% back alive with all of the people because it was so crowded there last night. You could not walk. Yeah, it was, it was yeah, mm -hmm. it was like Disney 2.0, like Alex said. Mm -hmm. But today we're gonna try and take it a little slower. We're still gonna see some of the Christmas decorations, but we're not going to try and hit as many tourist attractions as the past two days. Probably the least popular spots we're going to today. Like yeah. obviously we already knocked out the most popular. The goal was to do that before Saturday because today's Saturday. So it's gonna be the peak for locals, tourists to visit the hot attractions. Yeah. 
We're going to start off by going to breakfast at Pershing Square. Now, Facebook Memories has been reminding us we've been coming to New York during Christmas this weekend for six years. It actually started six years ago this weekend. And six years ago today, we went to Pershing Square for the first time. Yes, very exciting. Yeah. Pershing Square has definitely become my favorite breakfast spot. It's right across Grand Central Station, and it's the most quintessential New York diner, in my opinion, that I've ever seen. And they have the best breakfast there. It's like the best traditional breakfast I've ever had, and it's always so consistent. That's why I love it. It's not fancy at all. It's like an elevated diner yeah. breakfast. The essentials hits the spot every single time. Never walk out disappointed. So we're hitting that up first, and then I guess we're just going to wing it. So we will show you what we do today and take it from there. Yep. So let's get our day started and take you along for the ride. As we made our way through the subway, we encountered some Santas going to SantaCon. Then we made it to our breakfast location, Pershing Square, right across from Grand Central Station. We eat here at least once every visit. This is the quintessential New York breakfast diner. They also have lunch and dinner, but we've only had breakfast here and I always crave it. Then we headed to Rockefeller Center to enjoy the treat during the day and grab some hot chocolate at La Maison du Chocolat. Afterwards, we stopped by the Nintendo store. This was such a nostalgic store. It was also very crowded. Then we went to our very last Christmas market in Columbus Circle. This is essentially in Central Park, so it is very crowded. It was honestly our least favorite market, but we did enjoy the convenience of walking out of the market into Central Park, so we walked around and enjoyed the views. Then we headed to Felix Roasting Company in hopes to try the Hickory Smoked S'mores Latte, but their smoker was out of order, so we ended up going to Starbucks Reserve. But not before encountering some more Santas from SantaCon. Oh, it's a couple! <laughs> Then we ended up at Starbucks Reserve where we ordered a few drinks from the bar. Starbucks Reserves are so fancy and the ones in New York are so large. We ended up buying a few treats to go before we headed to Los Tacos Number 1 for lunch. Los Tacos Number 1 is one of our favorite taco places, not only in New York but out of all the places we visited, second to Mexico. Then we headed to Hudson Yards for dinner at the Queen's Yard. This restaurant has a spectacular view of the vessel in the middle of Hudson Yards. I could not have chosen a more perfect restaurant to have our very last dinner in New York during the Christmas season. After dinner, we walked around Hudson Yards Mall to enjoy all of the string lights engulfing the entire building. It was even more outstanding in person from the inside and out. The following morning, we went to Zucker's Bagels once again. I ordered the BLT. It was absolutely my favorite bagel. Then we headed to the Stock Market Exchange to see the tree in that area. I think it's even prettier than Rockefeller, but that's my opinion. Then we went on a search for some good coffee. Alex wanted Bluestone Lane. We found it and he enjoyed his cup of coffee indoors in the warmth. Then we headed to to dough. This one was located at the Rockefeller Center. We wanted a treat to take with us on the plane and of course we could not resist one last cup of Max Brenner hot chocolate. Then we stopped by the Cartier store on 5th Avenue because this is just all dressed up for Christmas and we could not miss it before heading back to the hotel. All right, guys, we're back from our very quick half day here, our last day here in New York City, and we're gonna give you guys a little recap of our whole weekend. All in all, I feel like this was a really great trip. I think this is one of the best New York trips we've had in a while. I think the weather had a great deal to play in it. Yeah, we've played with a lot of dates. As I mentioned earlier, we started this tradition like six years ago, and we've played with the first week of December, Christmas week, the last week of December, and I think we've concluded that this first weekend of December, like the 7th through 9th, is the sweet spot. Yeah, I think as far as weather and crowds, because further into 
December, you're going to see huge crowds. And although we did see large crowds mm -hmm. over the weekend, during the week, they were pretty low, which was surprising and refreshing because we got to really enjoy those first two days we were here with low crowds in the high tourist attraction areas. And we got a lot done. I made a whole list of hot go-go stops I wanted to hit and all the holiday markets. And we actually went to all the holiday markets available here in New York City during the holidays. And we hit several hot cocoa stops, some that were not on my list that were actually surprisingly so delicious. And I'm glad we went to, and that one was Max Brenner hot cocoa. It was some of the best hot cocoa we've had. Thankfully, I'm a <laughs> avid uh, YouTube watcher and I saw Max Brenner's on YouTube and I was like, hey, this looks like a good spot. And we decided to try it. And I'm gonna say it, it is my favorite hot cocoa of all time. Hands yeah. down, doesn't yeah. get better than that. And surprisingly, we went to Tiffany's just to check it out and they were serving hot cocoa there as well. And that ended up being our second favorite hot cocoa out of all the hot cocoa we've tasted. I'm not sure which one they were serving. They obviously don't have their own hot cocoa blend, but whatever it was, was delicious. Yeah, Tiffany's complimentary hot chocolate slapped. Usually when it's free hot chocolate, you're getting like Swiss Miss or <laughs> some cheap stuff. This Tiffany's free hot chocolate. Let me again say it, free. Yeah. It was second on our list of best hot cocoa we had in the city. Yeah, and they even offered a marshmallow and candy cane to go inside the chocolate. And it was all complimentary. At Max Brenner's, the marshmallow is an extra dollar. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Still the best, but like, you know, it kind of goes to show you. Yeah, so if Tiffany's is still offering complimentary hot cocoa, I highly recommend that you go get that because it ended up being second favorite on our list. And yeah, we hit up all the holiday markets, all the hot cocoa stops. Those were my priority. And then I made a list of holiday decorations all throughout the city and holiday decorations within hotels in the city. We ended up going to a few hotels. The plaza, though, did not let us enter. It was only dinner reservations or food reservations and obviously people who were actually staying there. In the past, you could get in, but I guess since it's, it's so popular crowds, yeah. and it's during the holidays and obviously it's a very high-end place and you're paying a lot of money, so the exclusivity is probably preferred there. Which makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but all in all, it was such a great trip and I hope you enjoyed all the magical decorations and holiday markets and hot cocoa that we are sharing in this holiday video video and if you haven't come to New York during the holidays put it on your bucket list because it's definitely one of the highlights of our year every year and I'm so glad we got to enjoy it and share it with you guys this year and we hope to see you on the next video bye guys Adios.